Praise the Lord Jesus, my friend. Praise God. Welcome back to today's Bible study. Amen. We are in Exodus chapter 11 this morning. Amen. Praise God. And the title of this particular chapter is The Final Plague and the Passover Lamb. Praise God. We want to get straight to it. But as usual, before we get into it, we want to commence with prayer. Bow your head, my friend. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your goodness toward us. For your faithfulness praise god for your grace and for your mercy even this morning as we go into your word we pray lord that you will help us to understand it to exegese it in a way that is truthful and that brings glory to your name and bless lives cover the persons watching under your blood amen and even those who will be joining later god almighty take full control bless lord jesus deliver and set free god almighty for we put our trust in none other but you god who is the true and living god have thine own way right now as we believe you god almighty for what you're about to do in our lives right now in jesus name amen praise god so it is exodus chapter 11 praise god we want to get straight to it amen you can follow in your bibles amen and this is talking about the final plague remember when we were um, talking about the final plague and at this particular time uh, pharaoh is not going to resist anymore but he's going to just with a mighty hand just drive them out just go get out of my country get out of my land because this um, plague is is more severe and more dreadful than all the rest praise god so let's go into the word um chapter 11 verse 1 and the lord said unto moses yet will i bring one more plague or one plague more upon Pharaoh and upon Egypt afterwards he will let um, you go hence when he shall let you go he shall surely thrust you out hence all together speak now in the ears of the people and let every man borrow of his neighbor and every woman of her neighbor jewels of silver and jewels of gold and the Lord gave the people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. Moreover, the man Moses was very great in the land of Egypt in the sight of Pharaoh's servants and in the sight of the people. So what's going to happen, my friend, is that this plague, this last plague, is going to come upon them, which is going to be the destruction of their firstborn, um, the death rather of their firstborn, and then, my friend, Pharaoh's firstborn also is going to die, amen, and because of the fact that his firstborn died, amen, praise God, he's going to get so grieved, so upset, you know, that he's going to say, you guys just go, just just get out of the land, just go, because um, it, it, it the, the fact that it reaches to this, that my firstborn has no is now dead amen praise god he cannot any longer continue to be hardened and to be stubborn he has to just let them go verse 4 said and moses said thus said the lord about midnight will i go out amen into the midst of the earth and all the firstborn of the land of egypt shall die from the firstborn of Pharaoh, praise God, he did not exempt him from the firstborn of Pharaoh that sitteth upon the throne, even unto the firstborn of the maid servant that is behind the mill. So for once you're an Egyptian, your firstborn is going to die, even at midnight. And all the firstborn of the beast, praise God. So we thought it were only firstborn of the people, but it's, it's also saying also the firstborn of the beast or the animals. Talk about, it's when, when the Bible refers to beast, it means the animals or the, the, the livestock. Verse 6, and there shall be a great cry throughout all the land of Egypt. Amen. Praise God. Such as there was none, none like it, nor shall be like it um, anymore. Praise God. Amen. So after this um, plague come upon the land, the, the whole land of Egypt, they are going to cry and they are going to weep and they are going to mourn because of the, 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 their loved ones, their firstborn child. Amen. That this plague is going to take away. Right? This death angel is going to pass over and take away the plague, the, 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 um, the firstborn 
of the Egyptians. Amen. But there is an instruction for the Israelites to follow. And this, this, my friend, if they follow this instruction, they will be saved from that death angel when he, he show up to um, save or cut off all the firstborn of Egypt. Right? But first, they have to follow the instruction. Amen. Um, verse 7, But against any of the children of Israel shall not, listen my friend, shall not a dog move his tongue. Amen. Against man or beast that ye may know how that the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and the Israelites. My friend, God will put a difference between you and your enemy, between those people who are fighting against you. Amen. Praise God. And you, you, they cannot touch you. They can talk. They can criticize. They can condemn. Amen. But they cannot wag a tail against you or open a moat to bite you. God Almighty. Praise God. You are protected by the Almighty God. He will protect you. He said there will be a difference between the Egyptians and my people who are the Israelites. Verse 8, And all these thy servants shall come down upon me. Again, And all these thy servants shall come down upon me and bow down themselves unto me, saying, Get thee out. And all the people that follow thee, and after that I will go out. And he went out from Pharaoh in the great anger, right? In a great anger. And the Lord said unto Moses, Pharaoh shall not hearken unto you. Amen. That my wonders may be multiplied in the land of Egypt. And Moses and Aaron did all these wonders because Pharaoh and the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart. Praise God. This too must come to pass. So Pharaoh's heart must remain hardened, my friend, so that this plague can come upon the land because this is the final plague that is going to come and we're going to read about it tomorrow in chapter 12 praise god amen so chapter 11 chapter 12 is also a lengthy one amen praise god um, 51 verses but we will go through that it says that um Moses and Aaron did all these wonders before Pharaoh and the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart so that he would not let the children of Israel go out of his land. For this plague is, is a must that it will come. So Pharaoh will not just listen to the instruction of, of Aaron and Moses, right? He will not let them go until this plague come upon the land to torment them, to plague them, and to destroy the firstborn of um, Pharaoh and Pharaoh's servants and also the beast, all the beasts of the land. Praise God. Amen. So it is a powerful lesson. And that, my friend, those were 10 verses in chapter 11. Amen. Praise God. But there are three questions that I want to ask you, that I want you to answer these questions. Amen. You can write them down. And based on what we just read, you can um, write your answers in your book so you can have it to look back on. This is how we learn, my friend, when we are studying God's word. The first question is what? What was God's message to Moses regarding the final plagues? Amen. You can look back in your Bibles and get the answer to the, this question. That, that, that question again is, um, what was God's message to Moses regarding the final plague? Um, the second question is, how did, um, how did God differentiate between the Egyptians and the Israelites during the plague? Right. The third question, what was Pharaoh's response to Moses' warning? So three questions for you. Amen. You can watch the video again if you did not get them. Praise God. Um, so we want to thank God for that word. Amen. And at this time, we want to pray and give God thanks for this very short um, 
scripture this morning praise god tomorrow though it's going to be long so please um gird yourself for tomorrow's lesson for it's 51 verses in chapter 12 right and we are going to go all in my friend amen this morning um this morning's lesson devotion and study is very short but nonetheless amen we give thanks amen when it's short we thank god when it's long we give him thanks nonetheless but we are doing the work of the Lord, and once it brings God glory, then praise God. That's all that matters. Amen. And it is blessing lives. Praise God. That's a very significant thing. We want to pray at this time. Let's believe God together in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you, Lord, for your words that have gone forth. We thank you for the persons, Lord, watching. We pray that we'll cover them from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. Bless their lives in significant ways. Deliver them from the very attacks of the enemy. Even today, as they go through this day, praise God, I pray that you will cover them from the crown of their head even to the sole of their feet. And I pray that even the scripture that we have just read, even though this one is very sharp, Amen. That it will, oh God, encourage somebody to continue to serve you, to continue to trust you. Praise God. Because you, even in the word, Lord, you differentiate between the Israelites and the Egyptians. That is to show, oh God, that you will not allow your people to suffer with the wicked. Amen. You will separate us, God Almighty. You will block out principalities and powers and the attacks of the devil, God. And you, God, will keep your hand upon us, God. I pray that you will continue to trust, help us to continue to trust you and take you at your word oh god bless the lives of the persons watching god from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet cover them under your blood and keep them even as you keep the apple of the eye have thine own way even right now as we thank you god for these and other mercies in the mighty and powerful name of jesus we pray amen praise god god bless you my friends thanks for watching if you watch the video to the end put it in the box this prayer god almighty just as you delivered the Israelites from slavery, help me to have faith so that I can also be redeemed. Praise God. Again, God Almighty, just as you delivered the Israelites from slavery, amen, help me to have faith so that I can also be redeemed. Praise God. A very powerful prayer that. Amen. Type it in the box. Praise God. It is a declaration unto your God and it is a very serious one. So put it in the box, my friend. Share the video to bless your friends. Praise God. Give it a thumbs up before you go. Amen. Praise God. Leave your comments. I love reading them and responding to them. And also subscribe to the channel. Amen. If you have not yet subscribed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be blessed, my friends.